we all pick up ideas from other people. Their stories are inspiring. Here at The Biscuit, we bring you a new case study each week. Someone running a small business who can show you by example how they've made their business grow. This week... Hi, my name's Tom Sweetman. I'm founder and director of stickyboard.co.uk. A few friends of mine were, um, they'd just come down to London or they'd a couple who actually lived in London all their lives and they'd moved areas and they were looking to find things uh, locally. So a couple of them wanted, you know, if there are any clubs to join, others um, they needed something fixing in the house or the flat and there was nothing. I mean, our generation is used to finding things via the internet and although you could particularly if they were very well known locally find out new clubs and societies. It was really difficult to do that and they were just put off so they didn't really get involved. And then a bit later on I was doing some work in, in the community and, and the more I did it the more I realised there's actually there's so much going on and it doesn't matter where you are in London, um, there's always something interesting. But the biggest problem is a lot of people don't know about it and it's very hard to get that out, particularly on the internet in a way that you know anyone can set up their own blog but will anyone actually read it? Uh, and last but not least, um, I uh, fixed computers during university to pay the way um, and uh, trying to advertise yourself as a local business on the net it just wasn't really working, you know, there wasn't something for people to do that properly. So kind of, they all kind of came together at the same time and I just thought, well there's got to be a better way of doing this. And for me it was, okay, let's keep it simple. Uh, what about the community notice boards? You know, used to work um, for, for years, so let's just take that idea and put it online. Make it accessible to people and let them actually connect with each other. So we looked at the likely user groups that we're going to have, we looked at the competitors, what they were offering, um, you know, standard strengths, weakness analysis on, on all your major competitors. Um, and. Uh, we also looked at kind of areas that weren't really touched at the moment, where there did seem to be a need and a desire but hadn't been fulfilled. And, and that was just to start. Uh, having done that, um, we spent a lot of time in beta testing our research. So we had a product which we thought was going to work, we tested it on focus groups beforehand and we released it in controlled beta in a, a given borough in London early on. And we spent eight months really fine-tuning everything from the product itself, listening to feedback, making improvements, um, to uh, the kind of the pricing of, of the offer, to the way we marketed that and the messages that we that we used and, and the channels that we used to deliver them. Um, and uh, as I said, and that, to be honest, that really paid off, taking that time to actually really understand where we're coming from. A lot of people who start businesses or enterprises have previous business experience or people in the family who have. I didn't really have any of that. So all I had was an idea and an intention to, to do something about it. So that was number one. It was literally it was sitting down um, kind of at the computer uh, on your own and going, all right, plan this out. What do I need? What, what do I need to make this work? And yeah, taking this huge idea and breaking it down, that was one of the hardest things to do. But once I did that, it, after that it just was a case of, you know, piece by piece. So I need a plan, you write a plan. I need funding, I'll get funding. I need people, I'll get people. And doing that got the way through. Um, I think funding for us was a challenge. I think it's a challenge for everyone. Um, that's something, you know, I, you can do it. And I, I'd say when people say you won't get funding or you can't get this, you know, I wouldn't, don't take no for an answer. And if the straightforward way is blocked, doesn't mean there isn't another way. You've just got to make sure you have the perseverance and the courage to actually find it. Um, and I think that pretty much applies to every other challenge you'll face.